Hello and welcome to this quick video to answer this question from this gentleman JZZZ1234 and on a recent video that I just did about antenna modes actually on ExpressLRS he asked a fantastic question about antenna alignment. Now I have actually done an entire series about antenna alignment. I'll put a link down below so if you're interested in antennas, how it works. I did it with Greg from Menaissance. He's got all the test equipment up there and we investigated a lot of the common misconceptions and basically myth busted I guess all the stuff around how antennas actually work but I haven't got a simple answer in a video that I can point JZZZ12342 to answer the question so I thought that I would actually do one quick video like this because I'm sure lots of people have the same kind of questions and it's a mistake that I used to make all the time I just put the antenna up on the radio and not really think about which direction it was pointing in or just stuck the antennas in the model in whichever way they would actually fit and proper antenna alignment makes a massive difference to having a great experience and not getting all the problems with range and telemetry lost that I've talked about in other videos. So rather than me go through this and actually talk about it with specific radios and receivers, let me use some visual aids to hopefully make this a little bit more simple. Again, as I mentioned, there is a whole series that I'll put a link down below if you want to get into the weeds with this. So let me just put this stuff to the side for the moment and we'll use these visual aids. So on a single antenna radio, and let's just assume that this was the antenna, I would always mount it vertically and have the antenna on the model mounted vertically as well. So they are in alignment. When they are in alignment like this, i.e. the same direction, then you have the best possible signal being received and also sent. As the quad or plane or whatever starts to bank, then as it gets to about 45 degrees, you retain about 70% of the signal between the two antennas. And then as it goes to a completely horizontal position where they are completely out of phase, that is the worst position in this orientation. Actually, the worst position is having the end of the antenna pointing at the model because that is called a null. If I just quickly grab the antennas here, you can see that there are the this kind of bar. So these are the kind of active antenna pieces. Hopefully I put my hand behind it, you can see it. Um, so this will be radiating in the same way as the pencil. So I would mount this vertically. However, the radiation of the signal and the sensitivity to receive signals is the poorest at the ends of this thing. And those are called nulls. And nulls are what you don't really want to have in play when you are doing uh, any kind of radio transmission or receiving. So what you would do is if I only had one antenna on the radio, one antenna on the receiver, I would mount them both vertically. Now, what happens a lot is on quads, it's mounted horizontally on the back somewhere. And in those instances, personally, I would also put my antenna uh, horizontal as well. So again, as the quad flies around, it's more or less in alignment because sometimes it's tricky to actually get a vertical antenna on something like a quad. But with a single antenna, it's easy. Just try and have it mounted in the same orientation. And as you bank and roll, it's still within the kind of 45 degree angle, which is giving you the vast majority of the signal that's coming around. So what happens then if you have a receiver like this that has two antennas, how do you mount that? Well, the way that I personally mount them is I mount them at a 90 degree angle or just slightly less. So it looks like a V. So let's pretend this is the, on the, the antenna setup on the model this is on the radio. I would still set the radio antenna vertically. Why? Well, as I'm flying around, I'm guaranteed to get at least 70% of the signal. But as I bank and I roll, one of the antennas is always coming into alignment and giving me the best possible signal. And as I roll around even past it, then as, as one antenna is giving me really poor reception and transmission, the other antenna is coming into alignment. So it's the best way to do it. And that's why on my builds that you see on the channel, you'll see that this configuration when there is a dual antenna is used all of the time. So again, with a single antenna, I would mount them both vertical or both horizontal if it's something like a quad and it isn't that option. If you have two antennas, I would mount them in a V or the other way to do it, of course, is mount them 
in an inverted V, sort of like that out the bottom of the model. I have done that in the past as well. And that's exactly the same thing. As you bank and roll, one of them is coming into alignment. What about if you have two antennas on both of them? Well, I kind of do the same thing. I tend to keep the radio more or less straight up all the time, and I will still set the antennas on the model in that kind of V configuration so that as they move around, it's still coming into alignment with one or both the antennas. Because again, I did the video recently where I talked about how the antenna modes work. But hopefully JZ1234, that answers it for you. If you are setting this stuff up, if there's only one antenna on the receiver, have it pointing in the same direction as the radio. If you're lucky enough to have a diversity or some other kind of funky receiver with multiple antennas, set it in a V or a Y configuration. And that way, as you're flying around, one of them is always coming into phase with the radio and giving you a really strong signal. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.